Hello and welcome back to the second channel. Back at it again. Now today's going to be a bit of a different video. Today I'm going to be talking about and showing you how over the last year I tricked the internet into thinking my cousin is Harry Styles. So yes, if you're one of the people that thought Harry Styles was my cousin, I'm sorry, you got catfished. So yeah, today I'm going to show you guys and explain exactly how I've managed to pull this off. But first, what was the top comment last week? 935 likes. I like how George has turned Facebook into his hunting ground. Hey look, I haven't done anything, okay? It's all Georgia. But no, literally, I wasn't expecting this to happen. Like, I was expecting to do one video on Facebook groups that I thought would be funny, but I didn't realize how much potential there was. It's a crazy place. Oh, by the way, we also hit 60k on this channel. Thank you so much for that. I did say once we hit 60k, I'd run down the street with a Shrek mask on <laughs> saying Shrek is live. So prepare for that in my next Reddit video. I'm going to do that. So make sure you keep an eye out for that. But yeah, on to the video. So how did this start? How did I trick hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people into believing that my cousin was Harry Styles? Well, to start off, I'm going to need to take you back to my main channel. So some of you that don't know, I have a main channel this is my second channel my main channel is called george mason tv now basically i did a video on here i don't know when it was seven months ago so not exactly a year over the last seven months this is how it started now basically the goal of this video as you can see by the title was i tried to become famous on chinese tiktok for a week now if you don't know china has its own version of tiktok so for the rest of the world they have tiktok whereas in china they have this specific app called douyin now i actually managed to get this app by changing my app store it was a bit of a long process but we did it as you can see here and over the course of the week i wanted to try and get famous now, i'm not going to tell you how many followers i've got in this video if you want to check out this video i'll put a link in the description to my main channel go check that out but what i will tell you is one of the approaches to try and get famous on chinese tiktok was to just catfish them so my idea was to say i was cousins with harry styles now there's a few reasons i picked harry styles a he was english i'm english b he was internationally famous so the people in china would know him if i said i was his cousin and c as i said earlier i'm a big fan of him now i know what some of you might be thinking oh he's just saying he's a fan he doesn't want us to hate on him because he lied to us saying he was harry styles cousin but no i've got receipts okay my relationship with harry styles in one direction goes way back. Literally, if I go onto my main channel and go into the first ever video I uploaded, okay, here we go, my first video introduction to my channel. Okay, when was this uploaded? 24th of January, 2014. Literally over seven years ago. Okay, listen to this. I absolutely love music. I don't have to specifically have a favorite musician or band. I'm so awkward. <laughs> I can't deal with this. But come on, say you like One Direction. I need the receipt. I quite like One Direction. Hey! I, as I like a different... Man. See that? I liked One Direction in 2014 before it was cool, okay? But if that's not enough for you, I've got more receipts. I did a video in 2017 called Guess the One Direction Song. Big fan. <laughs> as you can see, I told you I'm a big fan. I literally put it in the title. But if that's not enough, I've got more receipts. I did a reaction to Sign of the Times when Harry Styles first released it and once again, big fan. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, I'm a big fan. Literally, look at my reaction. This is my first time hearing Sign of the Times. Are you ready? Look at me. I was shocked. But as you can see by my face, I'm a big fan. If you couldn't tell by the title already. But I've got more receipts. In 2017, I went to a Harry Styles concert and vlogged it. And I freaked out. I don't know why I used to put stuff like this in the title. But if that's not enough, I've got even more receipts. I've never actually told anyone about these. But it proves my point that I'm a big fan. So basically, I think it was in like 2018 when the whole 8D audio stuff was going around. I decided I wanted to learn how to do that. So I made my own 8D audio channel. And I called it Kooth Tune. What a name, honestly. Here it is, Kooth tunes 128 subscribers and six videos that's me so basically with this channel i just wanted to make some 8d songs and if you don't know what 8d is it's like when you put earphones in it sounds like it's like moving around your head it's really cool so my first one was the kanye west one here to prove my point about harry styles i did one about harry styles of just him talking for 20 minutes straight but it's like 8d it's actually really cool and it got 83,000 views so yeah i did that just for fun i did one for kiwi but my personal favorite is this one here harry styles still the one and honestly this is like the closest thing you can get to a concert experience experience without actually being at a concert. Go listen to this, put earphones in, close your eyes, and you'll feel like you're at a concert. I'm not even joking. Oh my gosh, I've also just realized I called this video Haru Styles. How did this get 3,000 views? I literally saw his name wrong. That's embarrassing. But yeah, back to the video. So yeah, the way this all started, I basically made a TikTok for the Chinese TikTok app, Douyin, trying to become famous. So the way I did it, I basically made Harry Styles a contact to my phone. I then FaceTimed the green screen. I then edited the green screen and turned it into Harry Styles from an interview he did that was a FaceTime. As you can see, look at this. That's really realistic. They don't call me the biggest catfish of all time for no reason. I then headed on to Photoshop to edit myself into a picture with Harry, as you can see. And to be fair, look at this. That is realistic. So yeah, here's the final thing. I had the video of me, put the Chinese subtitles, put the picture, and then put the FaceTime, me FaceTiming Harry Styles, and then put the footage of me at the concert. Now I posted it on to Douyin and it did really well. It got like 100,000 views, I want to say. A lot of China actually believed me that I was Harry Styles' cousin, which was great. And that was literally how far I intended to take it, just to trick China. I was just trying to leave 
leave it in China, okay? However, that wasn't where it ended. So I uploaded this video, everyone really liked it, everyone enjoyed it, and everyone was telling me, George, you should upload this Dou Yin onto TikTok and see if you can trick TikTok. So I thought, you know what, I might as well. I've made it now, it took me a long time to make. I might as well upload it onto TikTok. So I uploaded it onto my TikTok, and it got 4 million views. 4 million! 872,000 likes. And all of them people thought I was Harry Styles' cousin. I mean, to be fair, not everyone did. A lot of people were taking it as a joke. Yes, and I'm the son of Harry Styles. I mean, you're as much his son as I'm his cousin. <laughs> it's just not true. A lot of people were making jokes about it. Guys, Harry's my mom. Yes, and I'm Harry's son, Ishmael, that never calls him anymore. A lot of you guys were actually backing me up, trying to convince people. This is 100% real. I saw him with Harry. Thanks, Mila. <laughs> Thanks for lying to everyone for me. I appreciate it. So yeah, even though it's got loads of views, it didn't trick most people because most people read the comments and everyone was joking about it. So they kind of knew it was all kind of a prank. However, it doesn't end there, okay? So this all happened in July last year, right? And ever since then, I've left it all there. However, I've been making a few inside jokes for you guys that have seen the video and know it's a joke. So for example, in one of the Spotify videos I did, I was like, oh, Harry Styles, my cousin, haha. <laughs> Just casually, you know, I didn't make a big thing of it. However, when I was getting new viewers, they were hearing that and not being in on the joke. And they were being like, wait, is Harry Styles your cousin? Literally, look at the comments. Okay, let's search Harry Styles. So the Spotify video, I subscribe because he's Harry Styles' cousin. Michelle, please don't unsubscribe. <laughs> I'm not actually his cousin, but I think I'm still a cool guy. Not as cool as I would be if I was Harry Styles' cousin, but you know, to second place. Wait, wait, wait. He said he's Harry Styles' cousin? Question mark? Is Harry Styles actually his cousin? Might be a stupid question. I mean, it's not a stupid question, but no, he's not my cousin. Unfortunately not. I wish he was. So as you can see, I just kept saying it casually and a lot of people were like, wait, are you actually being serious? And I just never really spoke about it. So I think people did start to believe it, which was pretty funny. Now the thing is, I was going to mention this because I like having inside jokes on my channel. Like for example, why the fact there's a cardboard cut oh, Shrek in the background. If you know, you know. If you don't, go check my other videos out and you'll find out. So yeah, I was going to keep this going on as an inside joke between us that knew. However, something then happened the other day where I thought I've got to address this. This has gone too far. And it all happened on Twitter.com. Now I'm sure you Harry Styles fans will know Harry Styles' birthday is on the 1st of February, right? So I thought it'd be funny to carry on the inside joke on my Twitter by wishing my cousin happy birthday. So I did. So I tweeted, happy birthday to my favourite cousin, at Harry Styles. And then I put the picture I photoshopped in of me and Harry. And I didn't expect anything to happen. I thought my followers would just be like, haha, another inside joke. Good one, George. Haha. <laughs> However, that's not what happened. Well, it did at first. And then somehow Stan Twitter got a hold of this and started retweeting it and liking it and replying to it. And before I knew it, it had 1,144 retweets and 25,000 likes. Yes, I've now officially catfished Twitter. I've done it on Facebook. I've done it on Instagram. I've done it on TikTok and now Twitter too. There's a reason I call my merch Catfish Clothing. Quick little plug, by the way, at Catfish Clothing on Instagram. Go follow them. Releasing some stuff very, very soon. But yeah, we basically went viral on Twitter. Consider it only had like 9,000 followers when I posted this. This absolutely blew up. I was not expecting this at all. I did not do this to try and catfish anyone. I literally just tweeted it as a joke. How many views did this tweet get? Impressions, 680,000. Now, even though the numbers in this aren't as high as the TikTok, so many more people believe this than they did on TikTok. Literally, if we have a look at the 262 quote retweets, look at these. Imagine being able to take photos like this with Harry Styles. God, I want to kill me. Oh my. Okay, that's a bit extreme. I also can't take photos with Harry like this. I just photoshopped them. You should try it sometime. <laughs> what else is there? This person replied saying, I don't care what you say. He is that guy from MMFD. What's MMFD? My mad fat diary. <laughs> well, who am I of this program? Am I this guy? <laughs> I'm definitely not this guy or this guy. What are you trying to say? I literally look like none of these people. What are you talking about? One of you guys actually know me replied to it saying, wait, are people actually believing George is Harry's cousin? <laughs> literally, this was my reaction to. I keep forgetting he's like an actual person with like cousins. Like, Harry has cousins, y'all. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure he does have cousins. Uh, I'm just not one of them. <laughs> and I'm telling you, this didn't just go on, like, UK Harry Styles Twitter. This went international, literally. There was Spanish people replying. There was French people replying. I didn't even know some of the languages that were replying. It was insane. And loads of Spanish people were calling me this guy called Pablo Augustine. I don't know who this is, but apparently I look like him, according to these tweets. How is Pablo Augustine Harry's cousin? And literally, this wasn't just one person. There were so many. But apparently I look like this guy. I look nothing like him. I look nothing like him this guy. But a lot of people were telling me I did. Literally, look, this one saying I'm cousins with him. Ser Paras a Pablo Augustine. He looks like Pablo Augustine. I don't look like Pablo Augustine. We look nothing alike. Another Spanish tweet, me a cost. I'm not going to read it in Spanish. It says, I got so used to seeing the edit Louis with Harry, so now it's strange to see the real photo. Yeah, literally, I got this tweet a lot. So apparently a lot of fans think the original photo of this was one with Louis Tomlinson, which can I find?
find it. Someone, I, some people did reply with it. Here it is. So a lot of people thought this was the original photo of Louis Tomlinson. So it's kind of like news in the Harry Styles community. They were like, wait, this picture of Louis and Harry isn't real. This guy is the original one. No, the Louis one isn't the original photo, but neither is mine. The actual original photo comes from this guy called Dominic Jones. When I did the original edit, I just found the photo on Google and just edited myself in. I didn't know who the person was. It turns out it was Dom and he contacted me after and we kind of got talking and we're kind of friends now. He's a really talented jewelry designer. He's super cool. And he's actually met Harry Styles. As you can see, this is the original photo. So yeah, shout out to Dominic. He's a really cool guy. He's really talented and makes some really cool jewelry. If you're into that sort of stuff, go check out his Instagram. Give him a follow. Another one. OMG, is he Pablo Augustine? I don't look like Pablo Augustine. What are you talking about? Someone else replied, this is the first time I see the original picture. No, it's not the first time you've seen the original picture because it's not the original. I can't take credit for this. I wish this was the original. This person replied saying, why does this look like a minute? Which I think is short for manipulation. And that's because it is a manipulation. It's Photoshop. I'm a catfish. But yeah, this tweet went absolutely crazy. He got over 200 replies. So I thought I might as well plug myself whilst I'm getting all this attention. So I said, this tweet is getting a lot of love. I have a channel if you want to check it out here. Gonna be doing a collab with Harry soon. Yeah, I probably won't be doing a collab with Harry anytime soon, unfortunately. Maybe one day. I mean, I'm trying to speak it into existence. But for now, this is the Harry Styles collab. Probably not the collab you expected or wanted, but I gotta get views somehow, okay? <laughs> so yeah, I hope you did find this funny. If you did, make sure you like the video. Let me know what you thought down below. Let me know if I tricked any of you or if you guys knew all along. Also, all of you that have now seen this video are now in on the joke. And I plan on keeping this inside joke going. So if you ever see me tweeting about Harry Styles being my cousin, posting anything about it, say it in a video, back me up. But as the channel grows and new people come that haven't seen this video, we'll be in on the joke and they'll have no idea about it. I think it'll be funny. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna leave the video there. If you did enjoy, make sure you like the video. Let me know what you thought down below. If you're not already, make sure you subscribe for new videos every single Sunday. Harry Souls told me you should subscribe, so you should definitely subscribe. Trust me. But yeah, guys, it's been George Mason. If you haven't enjoyed, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. It's been George Mason over and out. Boom.